that right there is the Arc of Trim. Now it's technically closed right now, so maybe I'll just come back tomorrow. And it's a hassle to get there because it's, it's the roundabout. It's easier to come on the weekends where they kind of close it off and then you can actually walk to it. But right now it's too much, it's kind of dangerous to go to it. So I'll try again later. It's actually called the Arco de Triunf. It's actually a triumphal arc located in the northern part of Bucharest, Romania. The monument, actually designed by Petre Antonescu, was built actually between 1921 and 1922. And actually was renovated in 1935 until 1936. And then again actually renovated starting in 2014. It actually commemorates the Romania's victory in the First World War and the coronation of King Ferdinand and his wife Mary. Nowadays, the Arco de Triunf is one of the well-known symbols of the Romanian capital. Military parades are held beneath the Arc each 1st of December and with the occasion of Romanian National Day. The Arco de Triunf has a height of 27 meters, which is approximately 89 feet, and its foundation a 25 by 11.5 meters, which is 82 by 38 feet rectangle. Uh, the sculptures with which the facades are decorated were created by famous Romanian sculptors such as Ion Halea and Dimitri Basiurea. So I came back at night, um, they are kind of like open inside, it's just see there's some little artifacts, but it is a little bit strange to get here because it's in the middle of a roundabout, so you just have to find out uh, where to cross, so in this example, you cross right there, so you just wait until the light turns green and then you cross. It's a fun little monument. I mean, you won't spend more than maybe 15 minutes here, but it's something else to look at. It's interesting. And there's, once again, a lot of history in it as well. Anyway, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. Here only, the Rick I might show you how to cross, because it might be a little bit confusing to people. Pretty cool. So when actually you leave, I know that this day was practically uh, raining and it was nighttime, but there's still a lot of cars going around this uh, roundabout. So just wait until the light turns red for the cars, and then you'll be able to walk through the uh, crosswalk. And then just be patient, and then wait until uh, the light turns red again for the cars to see which way you're actually going to head to. So in my personal opinion, it was safe. At least one of the good things about here in Romania is that the vehicles do respect the pedestrians so you should be well off uh, to walk across the street as long as you actually go through the permitted walkways.